I think it's all about children playing rugby league, what we believe is the greatest game in the world, enjoying themselves, fulfilling the potential. And this Rhinos Challenge and Butlins creates an environment in which they can fulfil their potential. And it's great to see me and Brett Ferris did it as young kids playing rugby league. I didn't do it as a tournament as good as this. But, um, you know, thanks to ESF and the Rhinos Foundation coming together as partners and put on this fantastic event. What do you reckon, Fez? Yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's my first year down here and obviously seeing all the children just happy running about, enjoying themselves and doing what they love is, is great to see and what a fantastic event that everyone's been running here. It's it's certainly one of a kind and unique in rugby league for us. I, I've not seen anything like it and being with, within the game for so long and, and George has been in 20 years longer than me as well. So I think it's absolutely great and uh, what you're doing for the, uh, for, obviously for the young kids who come here obviously every year and work their socks off all year and then come and enjoy themselves down at Butlins, I think it's great. It's a bit like a really good chicken madras for me. I never want it to end. I just want it to carry on going. And I come down here with my hat on as a dad, my hat on as a Leeds Rhinos player, my hat on as Leeds Rhinos Foundation trustee, and as Rugby AM as well. And it just, you know, there's so much going on and it's fantastic. And I think it's a, isn't it good to see the kids, in particular rugby league, which can be a parochial sport where everybody's always at each other. But they come together, all fans, Wigan fans, Wakefield fans, Leeds fans, they all come under one roof and enjoy themselves, don't they? Yeah, it is, mate. It's brilliant to see. Obviously, I came yesterday straight after our game from Witness on Friday night, straight down. Obviously, there's Witness fans, there's Leeds fans, they're all going out and talking about it, enjoying the sport. Obviously, we're reveling in what's happened last week with the Challenge Cup and stuff like that. It's just great to see them all getting on. Obviously, we all go in one place on a night, have a drink, have a laugh about it, see the kids get the stuff. And, and obviously, the presentation days today is fantastic, and it'll be great to obviously round off a, a really good weekend for, for everyone included. I usually get called the old man, upside down edge when I'm playing rugby league, but usually when I'm down here though, everybody's best mates, it's fantastic. And next year's term is on sale as well, get yourself online, check it out. If you've never been before, book online. If you have been before, you'll know how good it is. So book for 2019 right now. So what I remember coming out as a kid, getting out into a different environment, it's good for camaraderie in it and that team building and galvanizing relationships yeah it certainly is obviously you come together through the week you do an hour's training session you go home you forget about it you go to school you do it again maybe once a week and then obviously you get a little trip away sometimes and uh, you might go from from Leeds to Bradford or Leeds to Castle something like that but coming down here for the full weekend obviously the kids just run around for three days mental they go from <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock at night till the mums and dad are still having a drink in the pub they're whacked for that night. You don't think they're going to be able to make it through the next day, but they come out again, they do it all again. And I think it's just great that they're, they're all coming for the same reasons, to enjoy themselves, to play rugby league and to grow this great sport of ours. I remember, I think, looking back on the weekend, there's not enough time to do everything, is it? Because there's, there's a rugby and then the kids want to play crazy golf. They want to go swimming. You've obviously got the presentations. They go out on the beach. They're all playing five-a-side football, a different sport as well. And they want to go to a fairground as well as getting caravan and listen to rain popping down or into the chalets. It's brilliant. There's so much to do, isn't there? There is, mate. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I got straight here yesterday, got straight involved going to watch the games, watching the kids play. Went, I obviously got home, had some dinner, been to the beach, had a little walk around. Fantastic, beautiful beach here uh, for England as such. The weather was warm as well, which is, is always a massive bonus. It's been great weather this weekend. Uh, we've been bowling, me and my missus. We've... Obviously, been in the arcades, we've walked around, we've been swimming, we've been to the nice little restaurants on site. There's just so much to do and it's fantastic. Uh, it's a perfect place to hold the venue and, and obviously long may it continue for me. I'll tell you now, right, honest truth, I wanted to get down here that much that after we played at Widnes, <laughs> right, we kicked off at 8 o'clock in Widnes. I think we got done and down motorway back to Leeds for about 1am and I just drove straight down. So I didn't get here till 4am, but I'm really happy because when I got up the next morning, we were ready to go Butlins. Great fun. But I always think about trophies as being little bits of feedback, like you win some, you lose some, we know that, and I've got, we've got grand final rings at home and, and Challenge Cup medals and all that journey that we go on, but they're just as important when you're a young kid as well, aren't they? Because they go in that proverbial box, which is ourselves, which helps us to grow and remind ourselves that we're always competing, we're always enjoying, we're always striving to be better versions of ourselves. So the trophy presentation is really important, isn't it? Yeah, it's for young kids. Um, my nephews have just started playing and uh, when I was a kid, there was, there was one trophy, that was it. You, you got a man of the match and that was it. And now they have the top tackler, they have the best offensive player, top try scorer in the game, they have the man of the match, the coaches, the fans, the parents man of the match, and everything. 
I think it's great. It's something to strive for as a player. Um, and my nephew's come on with a couple of civics every week. We've put them in a folder for them. We're going to save them for a long time. When they look back on them, it's fantastic. And it? it's just that little bit of reward for. I always say it's great being a professional rugby league player. You train all week, but when you turn out on that field and everyone's going for that same thing, and, th and that's what it is. We're going for a win. We're going for a man of the match. We want something to get a bit of recognition and and obviously prove that it's been good week and stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's fantastic and. The, the presentation will be massive for the kids. It's great for obviously them to come and see their idols and, and get something off. And we have a little chat and a laugh with them and pull their hair and give them a little nip when they walk past and stuff. But they absolutely love it. I, I love getting presentations. And obviously, when I was a younger player, going to meet some of my idols and getting them and a bit starstruck, but it is fantastic. Yeah, it's great for them. I remember me, Fez, I was always most improved playing me every week. Getting a little bit better, but that's what it's all about as well. My favourite one, I think the best one sometimes, is oppositions. Man of the match, which is always good. But the great thing about ES7, Leeds Rhinos Foundation, they put this award ceremony on. And it is like a real ceremony. The trophies are massive, and I'm showing my age here. But it reminds me of Karate Kid. Do you remember them yeah. back in the day Three when they used to get trophies <laughs> as big as Four the kids two. that are carrying them out trying to get out? But it is good fun because it's not just about coming up, checking hands. It's a real festival atmosphere. Nobody's booing each other. There's rival teams, but they all come together, have dance offs, tell a few jokes, do a few Q&As with professional players, and have some fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, mate. It's all coming together as one. Rugby is a family sport. We go from Jones's 40, 50 year age to, to some young kids, 16, 17 years are coming through. Everybody loves it. We all go for the same thing. We're all, we're all obviously wanting to grow rugby league and as a game, as a sport, as a profession, it's fantastic to play. We think we have the best thing in the world with rugby league and we just want to get it out there and show everybody. And that's what these guys are doing. A few years ago, if you'd not been to Rhinos Challenge, I'd encourage you to get on board and book on because I'd want you to experience it. This time I'm going to encourage you quickly to do it because it just books up that quick and it is like it starts to get oversubscribed because everybody knows how good it is. It's important to get online, look at the next day and get their team down here and it's gone that far now that people are getting kit made up, Rhinos Challenge, Butlins, Big Gazebos and they're coming down. It's a part of everybody's schedule isn't it? Yeah, that's what I think. I noticed when I walked out on the pitch, there's gazebos out, there's big banners made with the Rhinos Challenge on. We've got teams now coming on from France, coming from Essex and places like that. Obviously, we've always got the Yorkshire team, so like, but it's great to see so many other clubs getting involved and getting down and experience this because it's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them. And a uh, quick shout-out to Skirler as well, who I think become the first team ever to bring every age group. That's what they're trying to do. I think there's representatives from most clubs, but they're that keen now, they want every age group. It's a club-wide thing. So if you've not been, get yourself down. If you have been, you know how good it is. Come back, let's have some fun. Let's develop the game for those next-generation players.